Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Daily Recaps and Teachings. Today is August 17th and great day in the market today. Today was definitely a better day than yesterday and there were better plays. We focused on less plays but we nailed each one of them. CVS was a big win on the short size. BA was a big win. You know, we were watching Walmart, um, not my personal trade, but Walmart worked out nicely. And the midday short on Meta was very good and Tesla was very good. So I'll go through that. I'll go through all the trades we did today and how we executed and how we nailed each one of them. And today, 70% people were green in the morning and they just left after that because we had such a good morning and the setups were A+. Plus and we nailed them better than what we did yesterday. By the way, this is uh, so we have a bunch of so you know, I got a question like how do I keep eye on so many plays all day? Because what we do in our community is we provide we provide for all the tools in the community, be it the scanners, option flows, live streams, news bots, everything is there. So that's how we keep eye on the whole market. Just as you see right now, we have after hour scanners going on. So that these tools are very important to have and that, you know, and um, we provide this in the community. So everyone has this one simple place to go to and, you know, everything is at one place. So we will review everything. We will go through all over the place today and then we'll also look at the daily chart. Some of the charts are discussed in the yesterday's video like Boeing. Why was it an A plus setup and how it worked? We'll talk about Google relative strength, which was caught by our, our traders. And then we'll look at our SPY and NASDAQ charts as well in the end. So excuse me. So let's let's start. So this morning, as every day, we were up 45, 30, 60 minutes before the market opened. We reviewed everything. What are we going to trade today? So we had a bunch of focus. We had Cisco earnings. We have Adobe upgrade. You know, and um, uh, we were watching the Spanish stock AHI, and and there was nothing much much from there for me. But we did um, we wanted to focus on the marketplace as well because the meta setup, which I will show you later, that I tweeted about, I discussed it yesterday, and how it panned out today. Not only that, whenever we start a day, there are new people in the community, so they need to understand my system because if I'm sharing something, what my system is. So we shared a simple flashcard in the morning about the EMA cloud trend. How if something is under EMA clouds, that's bearish, over it is bullish, and how we track the 512 EMS as well. So that's how we nail everything day in, day out using our system, not deviating from the system focusing on support resistance levels and our system. Then we looked at what are the earnings says. The CVS was a big news this morning because Blue Shield of California dropped CVS as a pharmacy benefit manager, uh, which is a good big news from them because California one of the biggest states and they have a lot of clients in um, California through um, through Blue, Blue Cross. So definitely it was a bad news for them, but we followed our uh, system and this was the biggest trade some of the options went 300 500 percent and then we'll talk about those as well so we watch list was ready this morning cvs walmart among others we were watching coin roku amd boeing tesla and uh, of course few others as always my levels were posted out this morning so if we look what level how did the levels pan out right so 4175 was the risk and it never crossed that area you see i have a price alert there so it faded all day a lot of traders took the short based upon my levels under the ema clouds they had a nice trade there right so what was the qqq level saying so resistance was 365 as you see i had my levels drawn and my price alert there if the price was breaking we would have got gotten an automated bot alert so we need to watch that price, but it was under EMA cloud. It was a short all day, uh, you know, initial in the start and then end of the day under the EMA clouds, the level worked nicely. And then we look at our Tesla levels. 
So Tesla, because when it's under EMA cloud, we look at the resistance levels, you know, and then of course we watch the support to where to cover. So Tesla resist, there were two resistances levels to 288 and then was 229. But Tesla faded right away under the pre-market support. It was the short right out of the gate and it just faded faded and then I how I guided everyone on this short I will show show up show everyone in a minute Tesla is still fading after hours it's just a beautiful beautiful day so that's why we don't care the market goes up or down we care about following our system making good trades making money wherever the market goes up or down when it is time for swing trading then we will do swing trades right now it's a day trade versus market a lot of range yesterday was tough today was more cleaner so let's look at how did nvidia levels pan out so nvidia resistance was 440 as you see that's where resistance it rejected you have one level that you can base off all day trades and look at nvidia what it did it went to 432 from 440 level if you use that so let's look at Microsoft. Microsoft again, there were a bunch of levels, 322, which level I gave before the market open, and right, that's the level it rejected to the penny, you know, almost. And look what it did. So these are your morning levels. And then the support levels of 3 um, 1930 right here, or 320, 320 right here. You see how it's bearish as long as it's under it tries to go over it, it gets back under cloud and then all day paid on Microsoft as well. So Wix, Wix was big for everyone in the community today because we nailed the puts into the close when Wix broke over 17 level and first of all when the morning level of 1650 and then the 17 big level we used it to short the market today. So it was just pure, pure, you know, fun. So, and what was the resistance on AMD? AMD resistance was 108. That was your resistance. As I say, bearish bias as long under the clouds, and that's what it did. Then it broke the pre-market support of 10670, which I gave everyone. And as it started to break down flush, 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 you can see another level to the point. Most people were done, they executed themselves, they didn't don't need any alerts. They use these levels, they know the system, and that's how you find consistent win. Defined risk level. Defined risk level for your trade. That is all you need. Once you have a defined risk level, then you just let your system work. Take an entry, but remember, if you have a bad entry, you skew your risk reward. Your entry if further from the risk should be smaller. If entry closer to the risk, you can enter more with more confidence and build it uh, you know better better position there so anyways so all the levels from the morning worked out nicely and everyone executed so let's see what we did rest of the day so cisco so I, as i was on the voice in the pre-market i explained that if cisco holds ema clouds we will take it long from the EMA bounce if it holds EMA it will be a long bias and guess what cisco started to move by the time I noticed it, it, it had moved a little bit, you know, but but I, I started small size because, you know, it was still a push into 10 a.m. trend. So the move was from 5450s to over 5560s. So that was a good, good morning trade on Cisco. So my target was 5530. And then after it gave, went through 30, 55, 30, the next target was 56 into the 10 a.m. time and it went almost close to the target. But then I also was warning if the market is weak, Cisco can't work on its own. It's very hard for Cisco to keep going that way. And that is what exactly happened. But we took our profit. You know, there was enough profit for us in the morning. You know, we there was enough guidance from me on the voice to take the profits and move on and that's what we did and met our target T another concept guys 10 a.m concept right if the 10 a.m is rejecting and doesn't make a new high after 10 a.m then that's it you just take your profit and go home so so cisco was a nice winner for us at open as you see 
so now let's look at our second big play of the morning was CVS CVS I clearly said my that this for the CVS uh, of course we talked about what's the news on CVS then the CVS my guidance was um, I was on the voice that I explained that the guidance was the push into 70 is when you showed it so let's say so like one of the members he said he showed it the CVS at the pop 270 as mentioned by me any other time he would have gotten early and sold in panic he waited for 70 hit the 70 and even when I when I took that short I said I hit some 69 plus 69 plus went to 64 the options went 500 percent big big winner for us no headache simple simple risk reward trade using our EMA cloud system using our trading methodology and we just nailed it right and by the end of the day I covered everything uh, left a small piece here and what was left I covered and then there was the whole day guidance on CVS 66 puts went 500 percent CVS still heavy I had small piece then I closed the small piece at end of the day so that was the CVS guys let's look at our next trade of Tesla as I showed you in the beginning it's all about the levels so so Tesla the levels that we gave in the morning were working then when it was fading I was live on the voice I would say Tesla only short no longing Tesla under EMA clouds that's what I love my system is working under the EMA clouds under the pre-market lows only short so far 223 was another big level if that was going to break 220 was my target we we got this flush we got this flush on Tesla and then it hit uh, 221 then it was bouncing and it was these candles were holding we took a took our profit and we moved away from the Tesla but guess what what happened at the end of the day finally that level broke down which we will talk about in the end and Tesla is still fading right now so let's see yeah 226 was the level if if you wanted to be a bullish bias on Tesla but it never reclaimed that level right so big level to break on 3450 I was on the live stream and then Tesla was trying to push few times it could not and then finally Tesla gave up the main trade on the Tesla was in the morning right in the afternoon if you got it you got it if you not you know that's fine the main trade was in the morning and by the time it faded we were done with it now let's look at our Boeing trade so guys if you guys remember yesterday's video I was showing you Boeing setup right we talk I, so we were talking about this 20 EMA breakdown and a big big support breakdown under the 20 EMA and Boeing was all day fade for us I even was posting updates on the uh, on Twitter about the Boeing so here you go daily bearish we watch from the morning watch list a plus setup all day Boeing 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 beautiful trade beautiful just beautiful and this was the execution by the people themselves right so uh, so that was Boeing let's look to the big big mega bumper meta so meta guys so for meta guys in the morning that's what I said the same setup that you know we, we talked about the other setup like I was talking about this setup from the 300 breakdown then I said if 290 break we can flush more and guess what meta did 290 breaks 288 incoming and we got over 288 and look at the volume that was selling on meta all day and we were also looking at the market right if the market qqq spy is super heavy that gives us more confidence on things fading more so meta kept fading there was no reason to cover as long as meta faded all right so we talked about meta you know 
I think a lot of people in the room killed Meta. So like how uh, Munir did, he was playing Nvidia and Tesla and so he switched to Meta and that made his whole week, you know, so that was the guidance, right? It's all about the guidance. It's not about the alerts, just buying something, somebody alerting, right? So it's all about finding your good entry and looking at the charts, understanding where can you risk. That's, that's what it is all about, right? And look at the Meta options in the end of the day. You see EMA clouds on the option charts, big, big breakout. You know, I traded these and these ones, um, I took off most before that big move in the close, but they went from $1 to $3.95, guys. So this is how you trade that. <clears throat> so let's see what else we did. Let's see. So Walmart. So for Walmart, for me, I was interested to long only if, only if it was going over 34, uh, 50, right? And those were my big levels, 158, 160. 160 was the main key, but then it was not respecting my system. It was rejecting, rejecting, rejecting. And that's how, and it broke 3450 EMA. And you know, our members executed based upon my teaching. You know, they did good on the Walmart, right? So I think Sukesh did very nicely on Walmart. Same setup, rejecting the EMA clouds, you know, um, rejecting this. You can have a, a risk here, or when it breaks six, 160, you can have a risk right over this candle under the EMA clouds. All day fed on the Walmart. Another great guidance, not my, my personal trade, but I'm happy that this was nailed by everyone. So I think we already talked about the Boeing all day, the bearish chart on Boeing that I discussed yesterday's video. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what else we did. Yep, Apple, 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 Apple. So Apple, what was Apple doing? Apple 177 was the key nice short from 177 level hold the Apple short hold the Tesla short Right, so Apple gave us 173. Let me show you actually, you know So Apple I have been talking about this level right this level you see August 4 15th I talked about this level on Apple and you can clearly see what I was looking for. I knew when this breaks, it's going to be a good flush, right? And, and it already started yesterday. And when this morning I saw this and I knew my risk was 177, it was such a, such a beautiful trade. Look here, just a beautiful, beautiful trade on Apple, right? So, yeah. You have a clean risk, clean reward, and you let it work. So it's right in front of you guys. I'm not saying the things after the fact. You see me, you know, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, but if, if my guidance is right, it's right. So it's no rocket science. I'm rock, wrong many times too, but we play the system. So anyways, these were our general um, morning trades. Um, we were watching this penny AHI from the, in the morning from the five pushed to a 550 pre-market highs, rejected, and there was nothing much in it. So, you know, we left it like that. Um, there was other bunch good trades, let's see. So Google was good trade in the community. Um, not my personal trade, but a lot of the members, a lot of our senior traders talked about the relative strength. Push held EMA clouds, held EMA clouds and this level and again push very strong chart and that was a good long so right the whole market was tanking but the google was going higher so you just need to find these plays and focus on what you can execute not what somebody is trading what you can execute all right guys let's look at our midday trade so what happened in the midday so in the midday we were hounding this breakdown on SPY and QQQ. When this started to break down, 
I wanted to take a shot, but I didn't want to chase, right? I wanted to see a bounce and then break down. And even that, if I show you my whole day commentary on, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay. Wait, let's see. On Twitter, I was trying to find. Uh, anyways, so so what happened in the um, in this 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 time, right here? We wanted to see a big breakout over 17. So we were scalping using it. I was, I traded QQQ puts. I scalped a little bit initially, as I show you here, once it was doing that. But let me show you when the final breakdown came around what was the time? Yeah, around two o'clock. So you see the price alerts started to go in. 361 breaking LOD bear flag breakdown right so these were the price alerts Apple was breaking everything was breaking and that was the time where our meta short was going in VIX breakout over 1740 and that's it right they were trying to hold Apple 174 when the moment it gave up and that was the time to trade your shorts that gave us more confidence in shop not in shop, yeah, shop we also discussed was a push short, but in meta. And then that's meta started to fade. Apple price alerts coming in. And VIX went to 18. That was our time to lock some profits. And BA faded as well. Moment this thing fades, guys, remember, so each stock in the large cap works with the market. If market is fading, you know, your short is going to work, right? Your short is going to work. Remember that. So you have, have a big picture, right? Big picture. And we just killed it. We just killed end of the day. It was was nice on these fades, QQQ, SPY, NASDAQ. So, uh, so yeah, guys, this was, this was again a good day. I mean, I'm, if you are getting just buying the dips today and get, you know, just losing money, 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 then you are trading without a system. You need to know what is the day to long and what is the day to short and what is the day to sit on your hands. Have a system, follow the system. It's as simple as that. Clearly, I'm showing you every day how we trade consistently or we make money. And we, when we have rough day, I share that as well. Like yesterday was a rough day, right? So that, that's all about it. So let's quickly look at the daily charts, guys. Daily charts are still ugly. Apple still has some room to downside. You know, Apple is still ugly. NVIDIA. NVIDIA has still some room to pull back. You know, it's trying to hold, but there, it's, it has room as well. Boeing has some room as well to go to this gap support. AMD finally broke that big, big, big level that we talked about so many times and now it should pull back more i mean 100 will be good so you can get there so we talk about microsoft microsoft same thing you know in the gap fading in the gap nicely so that's that so everything is kind of looking same yeah qqq we already talked about it yesterday the breakdown there's some support at 357. So market is not ready for a bounce yet. The bounces might come like one day big bounce. Yeah, that's fine. But overall, the trend is bearish. You see, SPY broke, you know, 20 EMA. And then it broke the daily 3450 EMA cloud. And, you know, you see what's happening, right? So that's that's about it. So, uh, so yeah, guys, these are the charts. This is what we, what we are. Tomorrow, we'll see what happens. Maybe a capitulation day where we get a big bounce when on a, like a sudden flush. If it gaps down too much, then of course we're going to have some big bounce at the open, right? But overall the trend is bearish, but I think soon enough we'll get a bounce on Tesla, right? Because the shorts have to cover, something has to change. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, guys, um, another great, great recap. Hope you guys learned something today as well. If you want to have a community to trade with, come to our community. Um, the link's in the description. Um, if you are struggling in the education, go to my website. All my content is there. You can go to my Twitter. And, uh, and yeah, 
keep learning keep grinding and we'll kill it bye